What's up guys, Puck Mike here back with another video and today I am going to be talking about some recent card purchases that I made and why I made them. So I have 13 cards here that I'm going to be talking about. And before we begin, uh, I will introduce you to the newest member of my video backdrop here, uh, being replaced by the Team Canada, Sidney Crosby, which will be uh, showing periodically. But for now, uh, we got this new one here. Pretty cool. So anyway, let's go right into these cards that I bought and why I bought them. First up on the list, big surprise here, right? You guys know I'm a Penguins fan. Uh, this is part of the series, the mascot series that Upper Deck did with the MVP uh, cards this year. And I was hoping to pull this from a box, but I did not. But that's okay. Bought this pretty cheap on eBay. Going to go right into the Penguins collection um, as a Penguins fan. Got to have this one, right? Everyone's got to have their mascot. So, yeah, pretty cool card. Uh, I think it was kind of cool that Upper Deck did these this year. So, had to snag that one. Next up on the list, a guy named Mac Guzda. Actually, we have two Mac Guzda cards. So, signed by the Panthers recently to an entry-level deal. I think it was a three-year deal on February 7th, 2022. Guy's only 21 years old. He's a pretty big guy. I think he's like 6'5". Um, as, of, um, as of right now, he's 29-2 with OHL's. Barry Colts. So pretty good record. Um, these are really the only cards I could find on him. This one's like a 20th anniversary something with the Owen sound. Um, it's a pretty cool card, I think. Um, and then this one here, uh, another, this one, uh, part of the CHL hockey with upper deck. So this one is not even, this one's not even upper deck. I don't even know honestly who um, but this is the only ones I could find on him. So wanted to snag him while I can goalies, you know, they're hit or miss, but I think there's a lot of potential with goalies to be able to, uh, you know, just come up to the, be called up. And then all of a sudden they're just amazing. So, um, kind of a deep depth chart with Florida with Bobrovsky in there and Spencer Knight, but you know, Bobrovsky's not getting younger. So by the time this guy's ready, who knows? So yeah, wanted to add those to the collection. Those are pretty cheap. So Moving on, um, you can probably guess what this guy, who these next cards are, if you've seen some of my videos, uh, Mr. Quinton Byfield. So I'm starting a collection of his cards, and I actually got three of them to kick off that collection. So first up on that list um, is number to 100, a star rookie card here. I was pleased with this purchase, although... Um, if you can see, there's a little bit of, um, up in the corner there. I can't tell if that's actually part of the card or a little bit of wear on the card. Um, I was a little disappointed because the seller did list all the cards are in mint condition. And that's, that's a little, uh, if I was going to get this graded, that probably would knock some points off. But overall, um, uh, pretty cool card number to a hundred and next one here, um, had to get the MVP silver script as well of Byfield for the collection. I thought that one was a pretty cool one. And then also had to get the AHL standouts um, of him uh, for the collection. Um, I probably will eventually get the, I probably will eventually get the UD Canvas Young Guns. That was part of the 2021, 2022 series one. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't purchased that yet. But Byfield, you know, I mean, second overall draft pick in 2020. Uh, 2020. Um, last year, he, had, he only played six games, had one assist. This year, he's played 36 games. Not a ton of points, honestly. Five five goals, three assists. I mean, um, you know, LA's on, on the rise in terms of their whole rebuild. I think he's just kind of getting his footing. I mean, He's a young guy. It's going to take a while to get get used to the NHL, but I think um, I think he's a big guy too. A lot of the a lot of the teams in the league are kind of trending heavy. So I mean, I think that um, I think this will be a good investment long term, and I'll definitely add some more cards of his. So these ones were a little bit more expensive than the other ones I bought, of course, but um, not terrible. Next up on the list. Mr. Alexander Nylander. So 2016 draft, he was eighth overall by the Sabres. His dad is Michael Nylander. 
Um, he didn't play a ton with Buffalo the first three years. Uh, had a decent season in Chicago, 19 and 20. He played 65 games, um, 26 points. Uh, this year he's only played in the AHL. Pittsburgh traded for him. Uh, they traded uh, Sam Lafferty to Chicago for Nylander. And since he's been with the Penguins, he's done uh, 40 games in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton Penguins, 27 points, went on a couple couple different hot streaks. He's only, I think he's only 24. So um, I bought this card because the Penguins have a history of resurrecting a lot of players. This is why I think Sidney Crosby's one of the greats because he makes a lot of players. He doesn't just score goals and and whatnot. He makes a lot of players around him better. Um, look at Jake Gensel. So, I mean, I think uh, next year the Penguins roster is going to have a lot of potential to be shooken up, so to speak, depending on if they re-sign Latang and Malkin and, and whatnot. They might have some cap space to work with. And there might be some room on the roster for some of these guys in Wilkes-Barre to step up. And who knows? Play with Sid. So um, this was a pretty low investment. So I wanted to snag it while I could. And I actually really like the design of this card. This was 1718 Series 1. So um, moving on. You're probably not going to be surprised by this purchase either. I have a private collection of uh, of uh, Mr. Philip Gustafson. So I wanted to get an autograph of his as well for that collection. Penguins traded Gustafson, um, such a stupid trade. They traded him away for like, it was like a three-way trade with Vegas. It was basically Rutherford's ploy to get uh, Derek Broussard, who turned out to be a dud for us. Um, but 2016, he was 55th overall in the draft. Uh, he's 23 right now. There's kind of a deep depth chart with Ottawa. They have so many goaltenders. They still got Murray. I'm sure they're regretting that, but I do think um, <clears throat> if the team can get a little bit better, you know, that that uh, his stats will be a little bit better, but and he can <clears throat> um, he can have a, a pretty good career. I think he will regardless. Honestly, I think he'll have a better career if he gets traded out of Ottawa to a team that's that doesn't suck. But I wanted to get his auto at least before it got crazy, if it did get crazy. Another one here. Uh, Mr. Logan Thompson. This is from the 2021-2022 Series 1. He's one of the young guns. He's, um, I think he's like the third on the chart for Vegas, although with uh, Leonard being hurt a lot recently, he's gotten to play some games. Um, you know, he's, he's supposed to be the goalie of the future for them. Again, uh, pretty pretty much low risk. The same same with Matt Guzda, you know. It's it's a low risk. Uh, it was a pretty affordable card, so I figured why not? He might have a chance. Uh, he might have a chance. So grab that one. Next is Mr. Tage Thompson, having a pretty good year. In 2016, 26th overall uh, by St. Louis in the draft. Uh, he has spent most of his career in Buffalo. His best season is actually this year, 2021-22. He's played 74 games, 36 goals, 27 assists. So he's having a heck of a year in Buffalo. Um, I would expect that to keep trending up. I don't know, you know, beside the whole Jack Eichel saga in Buffalo and how that was handled, whether you do or don't agree, um, it seems like Buffalo's trending up since that has ended, plus some some additions they made at the trade deadline. So <coughs> I would think that Buffalo needs to end this whole rebuilding phase and start actually trying to win. I mean, they just got Owen Power, I think, in the lineup too. So I'm like, I mean, how long can you rebuild, for goodness sake? So I think he's going to trend up and have an even better year in the next couple years. So, yeah, I had to add that one, and that one was super cheap. This one here, I've been talking about it in some of my other videos for a million years that I was going to buy it, and I finally did, and I can't believe it was so affordable. You want to take a guess? That's right, Tim Stutzla, Young Guns, um, third in the 2020 draft, same draft as Byfield and Lafreniere. And I think he's honestly panned out the the best so far. Although Lafreniere's um, having a better year under under Gerard Gallant in in New York, but um, I think this guy has shown the best stats so far and, and the most promise personally. So I had to add this card. I think I only I think this was like thirty five bucks U S. I was surprised how cheap it was compared to like Kaprizov and stuff. So. First season, he played 29 games. Uh, I'm sorry, he had 29 points in 53 games. Pretty good. This year, he's had he's played 74 games so far. He's had 53 points. So, I mean, 
he's still only uh you know he's still only like 20 years old so a lot of a lot of time left so i had to snag this one up while i could and that's going to go in the stutzla collection so last two here um taylor gothier so this guy was um signed to a three-year deal by pittsburgh penguins recently he's 21 years old this year he is absolutely tearing it up in the whl with the portland winterhawks 24 and 4 so this card here, as you can see, numbered 101 to 199. It's got a patch and a premium auto. And this is the, I think this is a CHL, um, I'm sorry, Team Canada Juniors card. So um, there might've been a few other cards out there of his, but I wanted something that had, definitely had an auto. And the fact that this had the patch and the auto, it's a pretty cool part of the patch. Uh, wanted to add this and it's a decent uh, condition card. There's a little bit there, um, you know, but... I mean, overall, it is it is in pretty good shape. I don't know if it would be a 10 if it got graded, but um, had to add this one. Uh, had to add this one. And, you know, Penguins, um, I doubt they'll re-sign to Smith next year. Um, so they're, they're, <clears throat> they'll probably be in the uh, – they'll probably be room for a lot of the young goaltenders they have to slide into number three on the goalie depth chart. So – um, and they have, they've been signing a lot of young goaltenders. Uh, so this will be another one. So I would expect him to go right into Wilkes-Barre right there next year. And then also another signing, uh, kind of in the same breath, they signed Jordan Frasca, uh, OHL, um, this year he's played 61 games, 87 points. I mean, this guy is really, really tearing it up. He's, uh, he's only 20 years old, um, so yeah, I wanted to wanted to get his auto while I could, and this one was super cheap as well, I think. And uh, this one was the CHL hockey collection. So wanted to add that one as well to my collection. So that's it, guys. That's some recent card purchases that I made. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and if you think I made a huge mistake, or if you're going to add any of these players to your collection or start collecting. Um, the one I'm most excited about, honestly. Um, I'm, I'm kind of more excited about these guys just because they're such a risk. You have no idea. I mean, this guy is really turning it up. So, like, when, when guys go from these leagues, you know, WHL, OHL, and then they get these entry-level deals, it's a huge, huge transition, even to the AHL. Uh, huge transition, um, you know, and then going from there to getting into the actual lineup in the NHL. Big transition. Some of them turn out to be an absolute bust, but some of them, you know, they just turn out to be to be stars so that's what i'm hoping for but let me know your thoughts thank you guys so much for watching hit that like and subscribe and i will check you later